Listening here live on the Cools of the Cool, the Cooley Cool Show. <laughs> live on this Friday night. Oh, yeah. You're listening here live on the Cools of the Cool, the Cooley Cool Show with your host, Brent. And yes, we're kicking it from coast to coast, north to south, and yes. Maybe in, even in Antarctica. There's a lot of things going on in the world today. A lot of uh, stories. So we'll be getting started in just a few moments. Here live on the Coolest of the Cool, the Cooly Cool Show. You're listening here to Cooly Cool Shows, Hip Hop G. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow us, subscribe, like, all that good fixings. Be sure to follow us on other social media platforms. You can follow me on my TikTok channel, The Cooly Cool Show. You can follow me on my YouTube channel, The Cooly Cool Show. You can also follow me on my Twitter page, Cooly Cool 2412. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram page at Brent underscore the chant. Yep. The weird times that uh, we're in. Aliens. Birthday balloons. And all other types of crazy awakenings. So, get ready to start in just a couple seconds. Getting everything all set up here. Live with the Cools of the Cool. The Cooly Cool Show. Thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 hold back the plus, please, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> ah, thank you. Once again, you're listening here on the Cools of the Cool, the Cooly Co Show. My name is Brent. So, if this is your first time tuning into 
the most coolest talk radio, talk podcast, talk anything show around. You're listening to the absolute coolest of the cool, the coolie cool show. And so we got a couple things I want to talk to. If you already know, the topic of the discussion for tonight is balloons for everyone or massive deception. Along with other conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh, yo. All right. So, um, just as uh, the topic of discussion, um, balloons. So, there's a, a certain particular balloon that's uh, captured the world, and uh, certainly America, by a storm. Is the China balloon incident. Yep. Mm -hmm. Apparently, China's one of their spy balloons, I guess, floated, yandered, whatever, all the way over into United States airspace, blah, blah, blah. And it's been spotted. Flying, taking video records, having a little trip away from home, you know, Shit like that. So, apparently, I say, looking at it like here, because it happened yesterday, and people are up in arms and flaring about it and trying to figure out what's going on, and Chinese is spying on us, and apparently, it's it just all tough. It came from Canada, airspace, and Canada's up in arms about how their airspace was breached to, and the United States as well. So, apparently, it says, <laughs> here, I'm, I'm getting this from Google, and uh, we know how reliable. Google is. The 2023 Chinese balloon incident is an ongoing diplomatic dispute involving a Chinese balloon entering the United States and Canadian airspace. On February 22nd, 2023, United States defense officials observed what they suspected to be a Chinese surveillance balloon and tracked it path over the state. Of Montana. Doesn't Bigfoot live in Montana? I'm just wondering. I mean, isn't it confirms or is that South Dakota or North Dakota? I don't know. Or Oregon. Uh, but yeah, this is what's going on. It's a developing story that is hit shockwaves across the world, the United States. Uh, people are up in arms. I mean, CNN won't stop, you know, saying, oh, this, this and that. Uh, the Pentagon confirms second Chinese surveillance balloon, oh, surveillance balloon seen over Latin America. So I guess China is just sending out balloons or what the hell is going on. So we're worried about balloons, ladies and gentlemen. And people say it's a surveillance balloon. China is just surveilling. They're they're up to something. And here's Reuters. Chinese spy balloon changes course, floating over central United States Pentagon. And this is AP News. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken postponed China trip following bloom balloon discovery. Oh, and here's ABC. It's live 16 minutes ago. Chinese balloon live updates. Second balloon flying over South America. I, I don't know what the hell is going on, but let's click on the CNN one just to kind of see what uh, is happening. And, I mean, they're just so quick to just look at it from a distance or up close to personnel and say, hey, this balloon's coming from here. Oh, my goodness. We're worried about fucking balloons at this point. So, but you know, people are saying, well, it, it, at one point in time, I saw something that said, you know what? They could have put nuclear missiles or bombs or whatever onto these balloons. And these balloons could carry a payload and to rain down. But then some other people have said these balloons that are being spotted are some type of EMP, electrical magnetic pulse that will just shoot out and take out a whole entire power grid and leave these countries or areas completely defenseless as 
the electromagnetic, it's kind of what would be, you know, a, a nuclear explosion where all electricity goes out, everything goes out, and then living in the caveman times, and you can't do anything, and you can't listen to the greatest show here, the coolie, cool show. So it'd be detrimental to all my two listeners out there. I love you guys very much. You guys are amazing. And, you know, this is what people are, people are making their own assumptions of this. I mean, okay, Grant, there may be, there's something up there. I don't know. And I mean, we're just going to just, I mean, I'm looking at this right here. It says 40 minutes ago, North Carolina Police Department urges residents to not take pot shots at suspected balloon spy balloon so how low is this fucking balloon going is it just just going low what what the f- i mean i don't get it uh you know asking residents to call the police if they see the suspected balloon and to refrain from taking pot shots at it so basically if you see the balloon overhead call 911 make sure that you give a good brief description of it and uh, let it know. Yell out to it. Says, "Hey, balloon, you have an arrest warrant waiting." The fuck? I don't. Once again, uh, see, I'm I'm here trying to cal- not calm my nerves, but sitting here trying to come up with the logic behind this. I mean, obviously, we're in the day and age now where uh, social media is spread out very quickly, spread very fast, effectively. They, you know, the, I think the China, China. Probably trying to locate where I'm at so they can be like, we've heard him making his punk as he's telling the real shit. So we need to go ahead and track his location down. We heard this coolly cool guy on here. His name goes, but you know, I'm just like trying to wrap my head around this. I mean, if Ch- China is sending out spy balloons, and I'm, I'm going to say this way, China is sending out spy balloons. That's having to travel across the whole, I guess, fucking continent of the world at this point in time. Because, obviously, apparently Latin America has spotted them, too. So, I guess whatever is going on in Latin America, they're kind of curious about what's happening down there. So, China's just sending up spy balloons and lifting them out there to be seen. And to kind of be like, oh, it just might be a weather balloon or something. But quickly... Somebody has came to conclusion or said, oh, that is a China or Chinese spy balloon. Okay. Now let's look at this logically. So you have somebody up there in the government that know what China's spy balloons look like. So they just been waiting to spot a Chinese spy balloon. So you have somebody up in the government of the higher ups that they know what these spy balloons do. And above all the defense, airspace defense and all that mechanisms and stuff, apparently this balloon just happened to just fly on by like a regular old balloon, like a little kid lost it at the park. And it just fly, fly. It's flying. Taking pictures, so they just know what this whole balloon is. And they they spot it out, and <laughs> it's just traveling across it. You know, I mean, went across Canada. I mean, past the mountains, the regional mountains up in Canada. And I'm sorry to say, I mean, I just want to know, considering this, this flight travel of this balloon, so these balloons, isn't we? Isn't the northeast and the northern parts of Canada experiencing a cold front? I'm just saying the weather isn't being much, you know, pretty, uh, being fair. You know, gust of wind blowing here and there. But at the same time, apparently, you know, as far as weather conditions, it's optimal weather conditions for this spy balloon to be doing its recon of the United States and just to be out in the open. And it's labeled the Chinese spy balloon. Really. Just saying, it's kind of, you know, a weird that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's doing these things. and It's like that. I'm just saying. I mean, people, don't buy into this bullshit, okay? 
Because there's plenty of people saying, oh, we know it. They're, it's getting down. They want to spy on us and everything. First of all, you have to look at this from a common sense perspective. All right. First of all, going back to it. So if somebody in the government is highly trained at identifying what a Chinese spy balloon is. That they knew it from way up there in the uh, in, in in the, you know the air. Then they looked at it with their binoculars and they they see Chinese calligraphy writing on it that says, "Hey, this is the Chinese government's uh, balloon." So they're looking at it and they're able to say that's that's their spy balloon. That to confirm that it's a spy balloon. That to confirm that it's it, it is what it is. Hey, what do I know? And then, on secondly, to pass all through the, you know, defense, you know, spending that the United States does, you know, airspace, utilizing techniques and things of that nature, and to just be like, oh shit, yeah, I got past all that shit, snuck through the cracks, it got through, got through, really, so got through all that, and then on top of that, I. Apparently, China has gone and said, I saw something, China says, yeah, it's one of our uh, balloons, it, it's straight off course, and uh, yeah, hey, shit happens, but what are you going to do? Uh, let, let's, let's, let's read somewhere, we're, it says, we're covering, I'm going to read this entire thing right here a little bit, it's not entirety, but I'm going to read it as our great politicians would read it, to make you aware of what Bullshit. I meant the, what the coverage story is. What we're covering. This is from CNN. Okay. All right. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has postponed his upcoming trip to China in response to the flying of a suspected Chinese spy balloon over the United States. The Pentagon said Friday in the evening that another Chinese spy balloon has been spotted over Latin America. The Pentagon said the balloon over the U.S. is being used for surveillance, rejecting Chinese claim that the aircraft is a civilian airship for research that deviated from course. Now it's deviated from its course. It's a civilian airship. So some little kid probably was playing with his balloon and, you know, just went off course. And he just said, oh, well, I don't know where it's going, but I'm just going to let it go to the United States. So the, Pekin, the, Pekin, the Pentagon said the balloon doesn't present a current threat. And the U.S. continues to monitor it as it moves eastward over the central U.S. Wow. Wow, this just gets more ridiculous by the second. And they're holding this look like they're having on the weather lady is she's like, look at the jet stream. And I uh, like I'm I'm just sometimes alert to so much bullshit. Just this is retarded. Chinese foreign minister says. Balloon entering U.S. airspace was an accident. It was an accident, ladies and gentlemen. It was an accident. All right. Apparently, it just. But then this other one had said it was. The, oh, whatever. Let's see here. I'm just reading this bullshit. The unmanned Chinese airship that entered U.S. airspace was completely an accident caused by a forced maneuver. And the facts are very clear. A spokesman of Chinese foreign ministry said Saturday. See, it's Saturday in their time. On Friday, U.S. Secretary of State. Oh, well, I read that part. The foreign minister spokesman said, maintaining contact and communications at all levels was an important, concise, a Bali meeting between the heads of China and the United States. A reference to the three-hour meeting between U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Ek yong in November. The spokesman affirmed that the Chinese narrative about the suspected spy balloon saying the unmanned airship strayed into U.S. airspace due to forced 
But anyway. Okay, so I don't know how that's going to stray off, of course. I mean, just a couple hundred miles and just went the wrong way. Then you're just going to say, fuck it, just whatever. And then let's see what I hear about the airship is a civilian nature and is used for scientific research, such as meteorology, affected by the worldly wind, and its own control ability is limited. The airship seriously deviated from the scheduled route, the spokesperson said. Okay. You can believe that shit if you want to. You can believe any of this shit. You can believe all the type of shit they're saying on fucking social media about this fucking balloon. You know, you know about being, you know, devised, planned for an EMP strike on, you know, certain areas. And then, you know, as far as it, uh, straight off course and all this other bullshit, you know, why don't they just say, hey, um, we have one of our balloons. Our balloons apparently was trying to spy on certain things, but because of the uh, climate and weather, the shit went somewhere else. And apparently it just uh, is there. Hey, I don't know you, sorry. We got caught. Hey, dude. That'd be more better to say. And then to say on, you know, the U.S. airspace, but look, let's 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 delve a little bit into this. As for this, the, now airspace is a lot; it's huge, it's big. But as to have two of these sightings, there's more to, more that meets the eye than this entirety of this um, nonsense. I mean, they're making it huge. They're making it big. China's came out and spoke about it, and they said, "Hey, it's one of our things. that's straight off course. We're very sorry." Yada yada yada. X one Z. I mean, <coughs> this whole thing sounds like complete bullshit on all ends of the spectrum. Where, I mean, if people really think that China needs to go down to this dramatic, as far as having a spy balloon. Flying over and then getting caught and getting off course, a, a balloon at that. I mean, wouldn't it better be suggested if spy, China wanted to spy on us, they have people already infiltrated here spying, doing stuff like that, or at the same time, you know, flying certain high altitude jets, things of that nature, flying over, you know, not using a balloon. I mean, and, you know, I was seeing one video, one person was saying, oh, my gosh, they're doing this and that. And I'm like, well, if China's going to just leave themselves out there to be exposed as far as, hey, they're doing this, this is what they got. This is how they spy on people with a fucking balloon. What the fuck do you think the United States does? The United States is does it all. OK. We do it all, baby. We do it all. So if. You think that the United States is concerned about this balloon? They're not. This is something more to it. It's probably something completely dumb. Or they're trying to cover some other underlining nonsense or bullshit that they just don't feel like talking about. Or think about it. Maybe they came out and said it's a balloon. I mean, is the balloon still flying? I mean, damn, what type of balloon is it? Is it a NASA balloon? Is it a balloon with, you know, an ability and capabilities that continue on going from course to course to wherever? I mean, shit. I mean, if it came from China, damn, that's traveling a long way. It's considered the fact that I'm like, if it crossed from Canadian airspace and Canadians like, God damn, and into the United States airspace. And then now we have a sighting of uh, another balloon in South America. Where the hell is that balloon coming from? Where the, where did that balloon come from? And, and why South? Why why Latin America? What the what the hell's the deal with that situation? Does anyone know? You would think that if a country's going to be a little bit more, you know, conspicuous about a shit. I mean, and people was like, well, you know, sometimes you talk about in your radio show on about. 
being, you know, walk through the back door like scientists did, you know, take the opportunity, see daylight, and run right through it. Yeah, it's true. But balloon aspect would seem just a little bit too... I mean, what are they gathering from this? I mean, what? Geographic locations? I, I don't really understand. I mean, it just... Can you can you can you help me out with it? I mean, we're, just, we're mapping out it. We found out that from here we're going to go to the you know I ninety five, and from the I ninety five we found out there's heavy traffic, and probably need not take that. Really, the fuck? <laughs> telling you, telling you. What do they all say? I mean, it's just I'm just confused. As far as what the whole ordeal about this fucking balloon is. I mean, literally. I mean, it, it's it's getting bad. Because you have people spreading this information. Then you have people talking about, oh, they're just... And then they show a picture of what this fucking balloon looks like. And it has no... It, it's this... It doesn't even fucking look real. I mean, just... It, it's just... And I'm looking at Harris's. What is this? What is this nonsense? Measuring the height of the suspected Chinese spy balloon. The suspected Chinese spy balloon is estimated to be about 60,000 feet higher than a commercial airplane. Yeah, because it's probably filled with helium. So, technically, with balloons that high, it would normally be kind of a science balloon of some sort. Um. It's higher than a commercial plane by 18,000 feet and lower than a NASA's scientific balloon by 40,000 feet. Who fucking cares? I mean, I... What... So you're saying it's in the middle somewhere? So it's flying higher than a regular commercial plane, but yet below a scientific NASA balloon. And, you know, I'm not going to just... And I, What the fuck, man? So, I mean, theoretically, is anybody taking this shit worth a grain of salt, to be honest? I mean, I was going to put it out there. It was a couple years ago. This is years ago. It's already been talked about it. There was a huge blimp or a blimp in the certain regional area. And apparently this blimp was used to cover a 360-degree angle as far as finding radar detecting of any type of missiles or anything like that would come. And a huge blimp, a military blimp, coming up that high, covering that vast, you're talking about they would cover a huge amount. So 363s and the blimp being so high, you would kind of almost say, they're covering a lot of huge you know, distance. Now, then, apparently, the military blimp, they said, you know, something happened. It, They lost. It crashed or something. Some shit like that. And then they went down. Okay, cool. And they just said they all would have scrapped the project. And then apparently, they said they were scrapping the $30 billion project. First of all, I'm going to tell you right now, $30 billion project and you're just going to scrap it? Bullshit. What you're going to do is put it where nobody can fucking see it. Okay? You're not scrapping a $30 billion project. You're not doing that. Okay? You're not scrapping it. You're not saying we're moving on from it. You already have it in flight and everything. What you're doing is now Putting it somewhere, testing its limits to where the public eye, the people, cannot see it no more. That's why I said, if China's got this, what do you think the United States has? And people always try to downgrade and say the United States ain't got nothing. Bullshit, man. The United States has a lot of stuff. And the United States, I'm telling you, the United States has the best poker face in any other country. All right. Many people always say we lay our, you know, cards on the deck and just say, hey, and tell everybody all type of shit. We love to run our mouths, though. Be, uh, be honest. Let's be honest. We love to run our fucking mouths about shit. But when it comes down to it, the United States, we have that hardened poker face. All right. 
when I say hard and poker face, we'll sell you and we'll talk shit to get you to do what the fuck we want you to do. And then in the end, we will have one because you will button into our bullshit, our poker face. Have you bet? Have you fold? Have you lose all your stuff? And then the end will laugh. Oh, we're oh oh, we're good at it. Took years and years of practice, and we're still learning new techniques to do so. Okay, new and more inventive ways to do so. Okay, this is what we do. So this is why I'm just kind of like the topic was discussion is talking about this balloon. So I'm gonna say balloons are everyone. So. Balloons for everyone. Yes. Balloons for everyone, baby. Balloons. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, <laughs> eh, I don't know. We're going to go talk about some other conspiracy theories time. Yes. Other conspiracies in the news. Don't be scared. <laughs> so, um, other night I was talking about the uh, the Great Awakening. I was talking about some other stuff, and um, I can't remember. I left off with one of the last tidbits that I was talking about. I was kind of, I was almost at ends because I couldn't believe how much bullshittery that was going on in reference. And I for, totally forgot what it was. I don't know. But my favorite that I love to talk about all the time is about these aliens. I mean, I mean, whatever happened to, um, to the UFO files that the U.S. government was going to talk about and say, hey, we have U.S., we have... You know, aliens. He et lives et for the hobbit. Yeah, whatever happened. Right? I mean, they just told us what are the generic questions, generic answers that we were all waiting for. It's like this is we cannot confirm or deny. That's basically what they were basically saying. We're like, there's something up there, but I don't know what the fuck it is. So, is it extraterrestrial, extra life? I don't know. That's the answer they fucking gave us. Answers were on, and then guess what? No one listens to it anymore. No one cares. No one's delving into it. I remember what happened with the whole oh, people are gonna storm Area 51, and you know, like I want to know those secrets. And then they sent out some things says, People, do you better not come to Area 51 because Area 51 is gonna hand down the law and justice to all you asses that you come try to bum rush Area 51. I mean. Whatever happened and things like that, did they just silence that? They just keep quiet. I mean, think about it. I mean, what the, f the fuck? <laughs> I mean, whatever happened with some of these situations, some of these thought was it a way to divert our attention? Because that's what typically seems to happen is that a lot of misdirection happens all the time, and we take it for what it we think it is, never for what it really is. I mean, it's in the news one second, then out the news the next. I mean, just I with this whole balloon situation, people are like delving into it, they're, like they're having like, oh, whatever. I mean, I just read you something that said they told people not to fucking take pop shots at it. What? Are you afraid to start a fucking? Oh, well, there's gonna be a war happening because oh, fucking Jim Jilly Bib Bob shot the fucking balloon down. The fuck you talking about? It makes no fucking sense. What? You know, I, it's, that doesn't hold any relevance. Hey, Jim Bob, just don't shoot the fucking balloon down. You know, we're having squirrel for dinner. What the fuck, man? I, I don't, that's this retarded ass shit that you have these media outlets that are going to sit here and run rampant with it and try to delve and talking about it. And who the fuck is writing this shit? Like, what the fuck? Oh, I got to. Oh, it's, oh, Jesus! I mean, who's who's writing this, and who's the editor? Because they're just saying this sounds like a really great topic of discussion. We definitely gonna put this on the mainstream, let everybody know, and we're going to get down to the bottom of this. 
Great investigative work. Great investigative work. What the f that doesn't make any sense, man. You always freaking try to wonder. And, and, let's see what this is. Northern Command coordinates with NASA on the brief. Yeah. Okay. We're, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Another Chinese spoon. Spy spoon. This is three hours ago. Transcending Latin America. What's it doing in Latin America? Wait. Like, doesn't say. Where'd that get found from? Did it get launched from somewhere? I don't think. Ah, I'm telling you, it just uh <laughs> some things out there just don't make much sense, and when you try to put together, put together the amount of information that's out there on a particular subject, you kind of gotta wonder, but like. Wait a minute. If people are really talking about this, they really want people to get information about this. But then you know good and well from your own self having a common sense mind. You're like, wait a minute. If my mind's operating on common sense, on realism, but yet there's all this information about the bullshittery, the bullshit, the nonsense, then it's like, what reality am I living in? Because now I might be baffled to be thinking, Am I saying? Am I am I thinking with critical thinking or am I not? Or am I just sitting there saying I don't You know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I mean I don't I don't get it. Like at a point in time they send they say, say things that you know that you sooner have to kind of question because to make sure that your sanity is already is 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 good. I mean, I and I'm looking at this picture, and this is so stupid. I mean, it's obviously got to be filled with helium or something in there for the balloon to continue its place to travel, or I mean, it's travel. It's just um, just gonna sit here and wonder. Structure beneath this Chinese suspected Chinese moon balloon is roughly ninety feet. So, so twenty-one minutes ago, suspected spy balloon could exit the east coast overnight. Oh, okay. So it's going to go to England. It's going to go to Europe. Hey, Europe, watch out! It's uh, the balloon's coming for you next. Yep, hide your papers. You know, hide all your sensitive classified stuff. The spy balloon's lurking. All right, you know, don't worry. Just make sure it's not tea time. All right, you know. So you know, it, it's overnight. It's going to be headed over to you guys soon. Just giving you a heads up. If you don't know, it. oh by the way, don't try to take pop shots at the balloon. Okay, you know, just just do us that favor. You know, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be messaged by teletype saying you guys don't take pop shots, okay? You know, just let you know. Alright. Yeah, so what the fuck ever. Fucking ridiculous. I mean let's let's see what's uh, what's what else in other news other than this fucking balloon that is can pretty much I mean I'm still looking for aliens. I'm looking for aliens, people. Is there aliens out there? Oh. <clears throat> I forgot. Here's the one. Last night I was talking about how the map of the world was mapped out in reference to how the technology that we have, satellites and cameras, just to be able to take imagery of the world as we know it. And apparently, like in six BC, these scholars, these you know, you know, smartest brains, were able to calculate by you know chains and ropes back in the day to be able to calculate the you know what the Earth looked like and to map it out. And I'm pretty much saying, and I'm gonna stick up my things is. You have somebody walking from coast to coast or on along the coast for up and down following it and you'd be like, It's it's like this. 
The fuck out of here, man. It's just so much fucking nonsense with this shit. I mean, and I re- kind of really went off in it because they said the 6 BC, you know, it's just dating all the way back to the 6th century BC. The whatever civilization is the old well, thing is the oldest known world map. And it, you offers a unique glimpse into ancient perspective. And we, like I said, we give so much credit to the ancient people back in the day on being able to, they were so smarter, they were better than us, and they were able to do certain things that we can't replicate. They're like, look, they built the pyramids of Egypt, you know? And I'm like, well, I can see them building the pyramid of Egypt because they had an abundance of slaves back then. And they pretty much said, build this shit or else. And so they were building it. But then again, traveling the material from one area to another area, I'm still up in arms and how the hell they were able to do that shit. But then, I mean, depending on how many people they had working for them or forced working, I mean, gives you a different type of perspective on hold on the hell of them. What the hell's really going on? I don't, I don't fucking know. But it makes you fucking think for a minute. But then again, we can't replicate that. But then it was like, well, of course we can't replicate it because people are too damn ignorant. Well, it's not ignorant. I mean, I don't know. I, it's There's too much mystery with a lot of shit going on, especially with the world map. I just don't understand how back then they were able to figure out what the earth and what the continents and everything look like. And the telescope wasn't invented till you know, 1608. And they apparently... Didn't have telescopes back then. Now, as we know, unless we have time travelers going back in time, giving them a map, showing them what the Earth looks like, sneaking it in. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> this is what it is. Get you a little jump start on it. Help out the world real quick there, buddy. Yeah, get us uh, going. Maybe we'll be a little bit smarter in the, you know, the coming years. The fuck? Is it Back to the Future or some shit? You know? You're so fucking pissed off of fucking Biff. You're just changing shit on a whim. I mean, shit, work for Marty, right? Why not work for everybody else? Whatever. Hey, but this time we don't have a fucking DeLorean. We have a space shuttle program that is no longer a space shuttle program. Apparently, they uh, they didn't pay their rent. So, they fucking went bankrupt or something. Whatever. Funding. There's always the funding, right? Funding, bro. Fuck out of here. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Don't get it. And then people always talk about the flat earthers and the flat earthers like, oh, the earth's flat. But every time the flat earthers do this type of experimentation, it's always wrong. Even though they say it's right. And I always say, as always, I'm not a flat earther. I do believe the earth is a globe, but sometimes with the globe stuff, I don't always believe because it's somewhat don't make any fucking sense. But then I tell flat earthers, hey, by the way, do me a favor. Don't use the concepts, don't use the principles, don't use the formulas that the Globers have made. Because that's where you're going to find wrong with your experimentations. Because it's not going to be compatible. You can't change shit that's already been so-called corrupted and try to use it to make your experiments and stuff real. Don't work. Not going to work. And... And we've come to an end of another great, the coolest of the cool, the coolly cool show. I appreciate all my great listeners, all two of you. Maybe we got three, but um, definitely would like to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in. Um, amazing. I mean, balloons for all you guys that came to listen. Just let me know whether you want which other colors, and and let me know if the. Uh, you know, it wants his blue back. Just want to know. Seeing, you know. So, if you haven't followed us already, be sure to follow us on our social media platform. And be sure also to look out for other uh, shows coming up. So, you're already here live on the Coolest of the Cool, the Coolly Cool Show with your host, Brent. Rocking from coast to coast, north to south. And if you're also in Antarctica, I'm just like. But, take care.